Hello, hello, hello. Oh, read all about it. Day 18 is here and ready for its headlines. This look is inspired by an incredible artist and a new friend of mine actually named Jasmine. She also recreated this look from a makeup face chart that was originally done by a Russian artist named Kryatova. Now, I highly recommend you checking them both out. They are stunning. So this look is gonna include a lot of liquid latex, so be sure to cover your eyebrows and your hairline with some Vaseline, okay? I am throwing on a yellow undertone with Makeup Forever's flash palette, and then I'm just gonna put on a thin layer of liquid latex to my face. Now, the newspaper that I'm using is the Los Angeles Times because I knew that I wanted to have the LA logo on my face, so I've ripped out the L and the A and pieced it together to see how it's gonna fit. But keep in mind that I'm gonna be creating multiple layers of newspaper on my face, so this first round may actually be covered up. So just be sure to have an extra copy. And the rest of this step is pretty simple. All you do is start ripping out pieces in different sizes with different fonts, different thickness, and just put it to your face and then cover it in latex. I resorted to using my fingers as the latex applicator because I could do everything much, much quicker. Now do not cut these pieces out with scissors, just rip them to make everything look a bit more organic. Bonk. All right, now for the lips, I mixed both Monte Carlo and Morocco from NYX Cosmetics, and then I'm gonna apply spirit gum to the area where the zipper is going to be attached. Now wait for the spirit gum to dry a bit, and then put the zipper on. And then to really make sure that it's not gonna go anywhere, I'm just gonna coat it with a thin layer of liquid latex. Sweet! Next step, adding dimension to this newspaper. Now, as you probably noticed, I stuck on the fresh LA logo and the word times on my forehead and also a couple other phrases that I found in the newspaper like kiss and vote. And wow, the newspaper really is helpful. But anyway, Using a brown eyeshadow from Morph, I am just aging the paper and bringing out the shadows. I'm also going to be covering my eye with the same brown eyeshadow and dressing it up a bit with some eyeliner. And that looks pretty good for now. Now let's paint the other side black with Mayron's Paradise Palette. and then powder it all down with Mehron's Ultra Fine Setting Powder. And I will also go through and put some powder on the high points of my face and let it set just a bit longer, just so I don't actually lose myself with all of this black makeup. While that powder sets, I'm just gonna be adding a bit more weather texture to the paper and then spraying my hair both black and white. Boom, easy. Throw on some jumbo lashes and frost them a bit white so they also don't disappear. And if you forgot to cover your ear in newspaper like I did, go ahead and take a step back and fix that issue. 
But once you're done with all of that, pop in a black contact and you are done. You are now the front page news, so start acting like it. <laughs> Good job, you guys. Remember to subscribe because I am going to be whipping out a new makeup tutorial every single day. And October is more than halfway done, so subscribe now before it's all over. Alright, I'll see you chickadees tomorrow. Bye bye